Hey guys, it's Jessie. I'm back with another holiday makeup tutorial. This one is going to be a slightly more dramatic look than my previous video, so let's go ahead and get started. I am going to be starting with my eyes today, um, and for today's look, I'm going to go back to my trusty scotch tape method. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the scotch tape. Okay, to prime my eyes, I'm gonna go in with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I'm taking that all the way up to my brow, just so everything has a nice, even base. Because you know I'm all about that base. For my first eyeshadow color, I'm going to be using Makeup Geek Creme Brulee. And I'm just focusing this kind of above my crease. This is definitely going to be a more involved makeup look. My last one was a very easy, simple, and this one is a little more complex. Next, I'm going to go into the shade Chickadee. This is gonna be a black smoky eye, um, but I want it to have some yellow tone to it in the like fade out in the crease because I'm also gonna go in with some gold glitter lately. Lately, later. So when you're looking at the black smoky eye, I want these kind of yellowy gold tones to come through the top. And that's why I'm concentrating this above the crease and I'm just blending it out towards my brow. And then I'm going to go into the shade Early Bird, which is just kind of a deeper shade of that uh, chickadee. Okay, now that those shadows are where I want them, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Maybelline Black is Black uh, gel liner. I'm going to take this on a flat brush and just work that onto my lid. I'm using this gel instead of just going straight in with eyeshadow because I want it to be really dark. And sometimes when you go in with just shadow, it like doesn't get into every nook and cranny and you can see through it and I really want a really black base. I also really love this gel because it allows me to go in a little slower and a little more precisely so I get it exactly where I want it. And obviously the edges are gonna look a little choppy and I'm not too worried about that because I'm gonna go in with more shadow and, and we're gonna blend out those lines so it's not gonna end up looking like this. Okay, I'm gonna go back into Early Bird with that original brush I used and start blending out the edges here. I wanna do this before I go in with the black shadow because I wanna make sure this is nice and blend it out. I don't want to add any black or get any black into my crease. Okay, next I'm going to take Makeup Geek Corrupt and I'm just going to set that, patting it in lightly and then kind of doing these circular motions to blend that in with the colors above. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take the tape off. Okay, next I'm gonna start on my face by using my NYX Pore Filler Primer. And for foundation, I'm gonna be mixing my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation and my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I hope everyone has fun plans for the holidays coming up. 
Um, I think that we are just staying home and having a very boring, low-key Christmas, which we haven't done in a while. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape. So yeah, so I was trying to find some place to go away for Christmas, but nothing seemed to work out. And now I think we're just gonna stay home with the doggies. When I do more intense eyes, I do like to go in with a little bit more of more intense contour. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm so bummed because I am about to start the last episode of season two of The Crown. And I feel like there were not enough episodes this season because I watched them way too fast. I even paced myself kind of in the beginning. I didn't start watching for like two weeks after it came out and then I watched like the first couple episodes and then I kind of slowed down but now I'm on the last episode and I'm really bummed. The show is so good and I'm so into it. I don't want it to be over. I'm not putting my bangs back down again so I am Gonna do a little forehead contouring too. It's funny, I never do this. My forehead is so pale, it never sees the light of day. Okay, and then I'm going to set with some Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Does anyone else try to watch a movie and then they fall asleep like five minutes in, like four nights in a row, because I've been trying to get through Guardians of the Galaxy 2, which I've seen before, but I'm trying to watch it again, and I keep turning it on before I fall asleep, and then I fall asleep five minutes later. So then the next night I have to go back and find where I was, and then I fall asleep five minutes after that. It's an ongoing cycle of stupidity. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. I really like the way I did them in my last video and all I really did was took my brow definer and just sort of made little feather motions. This is a little different than I normally do my brows but I really like the way that it turned out. It looked super natural but still filled in. I mean, there you can see the difference. It's pretty crazy. But this still looks like a natural brow. It doesn't look like a super filled in. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some eyelashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so I threw on my most natural pair of fake eyelashes. Just kidding. These are the Flutter Intoxicating Lashes and they are crazy, but I decided that this is what I was going for. Okay, so moving on, I'm gonna bronze with my Benefit Hula Bronzer. And for a little extra contour, I'm gonna go into the MAC Shadester Bronzer. Contour, whatever you wanna call it. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight before I bronze today. This is the Wet n Wild Bronze Over the Rainbow Highlighter little thingy. I wanted some gold tones in my highlight today. And then for blush, I'm gonna use my Ofra Cosmetics Apricot Blush. So my original idea for this look was to use the Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy Liner as my eyeliner, but then once the decision was made to put the lashes on, um, that kind of did away with that. Um, so I am gonna put a little of this, I think in my little inner corner, maybe in my little tear duct, my little V. I wanna add a little bit of sparkle to this. There we go. If you can't sparkle when it's Christmas, when can you sparkle? 
To line my lips, I'm gonna use my MAC Subculture Lip Pencil. And then over top of that, I'm gonna take the Morphe Liquid Lipstick in the shade Goldie. Um, I tried this out a couple videos ago and I didn't end up using it and I was saving it for the right occasion and I think that this is gonna be it. Um, I originally was calling this a holiday makeup look. Uh, when I say holiday, I think this is a, gonna be a really awesome New Year's look. So I'm gonna start calling this a New Year's look. Since that's a holiday. Oh yeah. Okay, and then finally some setting spray. Okay, and here's the finished look. It's so funny because when I first conceptualized what this was going to be, um, I was gonna do a red lip and I was gonna use that gold liner and then this just transformed into something completely different. But I think I actually might be obsessed with the way this turned out and I think I might actually wear this makeup for New Year's because that's how much I love it. Um, anywho, trying to get used to seeing my forehead, but it's just weird. I'm just gonna put that out there. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.